Yo. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Um, yeah, not amazing, but not not terrible either, so. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah. So, okay, week two. So this is the week that we had Marcus and Devery. Oh yeah, big week. And Jim. <laughs> The motel was hard. I don't know, the motel was tricky because like the individual rooms we were filming in were really tiny. Specifically, the motel office was very, very small. But there was something like cozy about this week. I think I had a lot more confidence going into the second week. You guys were a little bit more like just laughing at the chaos, like laughing at the pain <laughs> because that's, that's all you can do. You can't take it like super seriously all the time. Jeremy was really good for that. So she's gonna do this. <laughs> it's, it's some direction, just in case you didn't I don't know. even know him here. It's just that, forget it. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? Sure. And that's the day, I think we got it. <laughs> it's a whole brand new geography just for the water. I just don't know that we have time for it, I'm sorry. <laughs> These days are all tight, Emily. Yep. Oh, boy. So how can help me figure out how to make this easier? I mean, I'm actually smiling this week. <laughs> an improvement. This is Jim. Oh, this is Ryan. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Oh, very good to meet you. I'm Jim McClain. No, just now. Jeremy, nice to meet you. Jeremy. She's doing BTS. She's also my best friend. Hi. 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 It's an important part of my identity. And none of the things that we shot at the motel were that emotional. Yeah. It was kind of a nice break. Inspiration. You gotta be out around. It was nice to start with these scenes with Tina and Isla. It's like the beginning of their friendship. We almost filmed it chronologically in that sense. Guys, that was just so good. Yeah, that was so good. I just want one more just like that. Yeah. I remember it was always so impossible to get Ryan to leave set. I would like a bucket of steep tea, please. Double, double. We're going on the second day here, at least. This was the week that yeah. just destroyed our snow. Because we were so prepared to deal with the elements, like the winter elements. Dealing with rain is a whole other thing. And so you guys were pretty sick. Ryan at least was really sick this week. What, what's that, that was that the prison she was just talking about? Yeah, so there's a changed. Yeah, I heard. Really sad. This looks really good. They were like so happy last night when we came here. I could paint it. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I'm gonna cover the table with the body. Like, I don't know. It's like so impressive because you were so worried about the space looking good. Yeah, because we had lost our original location mm. for the prison. Just stand by, please. Just stand by. This was one of the nicest days because we had so much space. We were filming in one room the whole time. We had two cameras. We had amazing, I mean, we always had amazing performers, but like they got to just sit down and stare at each other and just do their thing. And it was just so nice. Oh. Yeah, it was definitely a performance driven day, not a logistics driven day. It looks great, like it's one of the best it's, it's some of the best scenes in the whole show. Oh, this is such a serious day though. We knew this was gonna be a very important day. It felt good it was, as it was going though. I think Todd Lowe helped that. Oh, he was cool. He was like definitely, definitely in the zone on set. Like in between takes, he would kind of just pace around and stay in his world. The amount of respect everyone gave the project was like 
incredible. It's like he walked in that this set, I think, in the mindset of someone who's been in prison for 15 years, and he really brought it. But it was it was intimidating for sure. He, I remember he said something really sweet to me at the end of the day, which was that you know I'm very young, but he felt like I was able to say things to him that could could tweak his performance in ways that were really helpful. So that was really nice to know. Your first and second take in a scene like this is going to be the most powerful because the emotions are going to be the most fresh. And they didn't really rehearse. Like we kind of, you know, we rehearsed like we went over the lines, but we paired it totally back so that they weren't, you know, wasting their tears, basically. They were able to t do it as fresh as possible. How are these scenes for you? Very draining. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of therapeutic just because I don't cry like this a lot. Yeah. But yeah, Ryan did some crazy shit today on this day. Like, the lighting is, like, some of my favorite. It's amazing work. Yeah, for, like, Stefan and the lighting team, like, the first day they really, like, got to do their shit. Action. I look like a director. It's so cute. <laughs> It kind of felt like it was the end of the week after this day. Like, it felt like a celebratory day. I love this diner. Everyone else hated it, but I loved it. <laughs> no broken windows. It doesn't look like it was a burglary. I'm so glad that we had that day in the middle of this week, where we had the the prison day followed by the going out to a bar. Because I remember. After these two days in the diner, I was, like, inconsolable. Hi. One and everything. Oh, man, smell the one too? That's amazing. Hey, 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 hey. John, where's Ivan? Where's Ivan? Where's Ivan? They were just making this up. Oh, this is a cut scene as well. This is also a cut scene. Wow, my hair is looking at an all-time. Super curl. Oh, this is funny watching my reaction. This is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Marcus enjoyed driving that car. <laughs> and well, there's our unit there. This was one of the very few cases where the lack of time oh led to just like magic. did at one point there was like a couple seconds <laughs> you went medium hamburger but I think that was more out of delirium
So this is, this is, this was my worst day on set. It's coming up now. In the restaurant? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I'm not crazy. This was a tough day because you, you had to spend a lot of time in that peak climactic kind of fight scene, figuring out the logic of it. Whose dogs are these? They're just the neighborhood dogs. This guy owns like three of them. They were just running around. They're so cute, oh my god, of course he found them. Not a wolf, are you? Hi, hello. We had this very complicated but interesting way of shooting this scene. We had two cameras on this day. And it just ended up being kind of a disaster. We, we kind of realized at a certain point, Ryan and I, that like we had to strip stuff down. Like we had to resort to sort of boring coverage that we didn't love because we, and this yeah. was one of those scenes where we had a plan that we really believed in, so we didn't we didn't set out to simplify it when I wished we had because I think that considering like the nature of how intense the scene was, it would have worked better to just do it less. We're gonna do some serious camera cheating. Uh, I guess I want another oh my god! And, uh, I don't know what's in there. Uh. <laughs> I think this was the first day that I actually cried because I was upset and because I felt terrible about what had happened and I felt like I was being, I don't know, I felt, I felt judged for sure. Where do these days go, EDR? Where do they go? I got some. I know exactly where they go. Put a bird on it. Everyone in close quarters too and you don't have the space to work it out. And you know what's amazing though is that this scene somehow, like our editor, somehow made it still very good. Yeah. But walking away from this day, I was like, there's no way that this is gonna work. There's no way that this scene yeah. is gonna be good at all. I just, I felt awful. That's you hating everything. <laughs> Watching this is painful. They were amazing though, I mean, yeah, oh my god. Hey, but hey, you got through it. There's a smile, I don't know why. <laughs> Jeremy is why. <laughs> Thanks for a great week two. That's a wrap on week two. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. All right, everybody get out of here. Lightning speed. I remember the mood after this uh, no more being very happy though. Like I was unhappy, but everyone else seemed really chipper. Even though this day was so hard, like, in my heart, I was really proud of so much stuff that we had gotten like, footage-wise in the can that week that I was feeling not totally terrible. I wish I could have, like, transported myself into the future and saw how that scene actually ended up cutting together. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I just can't believe it. You look so much like your mom. Why did you kill her? Dead wife. It has to be the husband, right? You're my father, and I deserve to know the truth. I don't know who killed my mom. Maybe it was my dad. I just have to know. They started disappearing 20 years ago. They were found in the wilderness days later. Nine girls. What happened to mom was random. Someone was using her to get to these girls. Go home to your uncle before you dig up something that ought to stay buried. If your mom's death is related to the others, walk very carefully. <laughs>